But this fight is mine. Standing on business, ready for a It's the sweetest day. What defines a Transformer is not the cog in his chest, but the spark that resides in their core. Coming from Alpha Trion, this iconic dialogue sums up the essence of the Transformers 1 movie. Voiced by Lawrence Fishburne, Alpha Trion is one of the oldest Transformers in the lore, whose origin stories alter between depicting him as a scribe and genius, and also as one of the original 13 Primes created by Primus. In Josh Cooley's movie, Alpha Trion plays a key role, and even transforms into a Cybertronian lion with neon-coloured features. Exciting, right? If you're curious to learn more about this mysterious Transformer. Buckle up and join us for this deep dive. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Take these and access your full potential. But first, who is Alpha Trion? Alpha Trion is one of the oldest and wisest Transformers with a sage-like aura, who first appeared in Generation 1's The Transformers cartoon. Before he was even made into a toy, he had a whole episode dedicated to him in Season 2 called The Search for Alpha Trion. In this continuity, Alpha Trion went by the moniker A3 during his younger days, which was somewhat 11 million years ago, when he worked as a labourer and then led the Cybertronians into the fight against the Quintessons creator. Under A3's leadership, the Autobots and the Decepticons ousted the evil alien alien oppressors and established their own utopia. As an inventive genius, Alpha Trion was later tasked with reviving two robots injured by Megatron's attacks, which resulted in the creation of Optimus Prime and Alita One. Alpha Trion was also the guardian of the ancient Cybertronian supercomputer Vector Sigma and its key, as he was one of the first Transformers created by it. Alpha Trion was also the protector of the Matrix of Leadership, which he eventually handed over to Optimus Prime. After serving the role of Optimus Prime's mentor, Alpha Trion sacrificed himself to charge up Vector Sigma so that it would grant life to the aerial bots, which would then fight Megatron's ruthless Stunticon troops. Alpha Trion's spirit remained within Vector Sigma, and communicated with Optimus Prime multiple times across the storyline. In the Japanese anime, Transformers Headmasters, Alpha Trion appeared as a ghost when Optimus Prime was trying to access Vector Sigma, which had become unstable. In one last move, the ghost of Alpha Trion recharged the Matrix, famously transforming the character of Hot Rod back into Rhodius Prime. In the comic book series, Transformers The Wreckers, Alpha Trion had a rather enigmatic reintroduction, as he was resurrected as a caped figure in his robot form, and as a leonine beast with a pair of horns in his beast mode. When Unicron posed a threat to the multiverse, Alpha Trion brought back Optimus Primal from the dead in order to save the Cybertronians. In the comic book continuity by Dreamwave, Alpha Trion is described as the savior of the Cybertronian race. When Primus entered his eternal sleep, Alpha Trion responsibly guarded the planet, until a nomadic race of aliens attacked and took over Cybertron. But somehow, he couldn't protect the Cybertronians, and his body was later seen hanging on the Decepticon Shockwave's wall, still alive. In the Transformers comics by IDW Publishing, Alpha Trion was one of the first 13 Primes created by Primus to battle Unicron. He watched over Cybertron for aeons, witnessed the creation of Orion Pax, and even tried to make Cybertron habitable again after years of turmoil and battle. Alpha Trion was tragically killed in this continuity, after he realized that his fellow Onyx Prime was actually Shockwave in disguise. This origin of Alpha Trion by Primus was retained in Transformers-aligned continuity, and after defeating Unicron, Alpha Trion and the other Elder Primes powered up the Well of Allsparks to create the race of Cybertronian Transformers, with Orion Pax as one of their first creations. Here too, Alpha Trion played the role of Orion's mentor. Interestingly, Alpha Trion kept the transformative powers of the Transformers hidden till the Quintessons attacked and enslaved the Cybertronians. In the subsequent War for Cybertron series and the Cyberverse series, Alpha Trion was moved away from one of the 13 Elder Prime's origin story, and re-established as an ancient Cybertronian who was the guardian of the Matrix and had fought the Quintessons to free the planet. But in the recently released Transformers 1, director Josh Cooley reassigned this ancient sage warrior its modern origin story, as one of the Elder Primes created by the deity-like being Primus. Transformers 1 explains that Primus sacrificed his physical form to create the planet Cybertron. Following this, he also created the 13 Elder Primes to watch over the planet and the cosmos against bigger threats, and Alpha Trion was one among the 13 who kept the hostile alien Quintessons at bay from taking over Cybertron. Their commander Sentinel eventually betrayed the 13 Elder Primes, led them into a hidden cave, and ambushed them with an army of Quintessons. When the Elder Primes were weakened, Sentinel slaughtered the Elder Megatron as Prime, stole his transformation cog, killed the remaining Elders as well, and then assumed the title of a Prime to govern Cybertron for the next 50 cycles. 
Alpha Trion's crucial role in Transformers 1 explained. This Elder Prime was believed to be dead for 50 cycles, till the ragtag crew of Orion Pax, D-16, B-127, and Alita-1 stumbled into a hidden cave on the surface of Cybertron. So here's what happened. During the battle with the Quintessons 50 cycles ago, Sentinel slaughtered all 13 of the Elder Primes. Or so he thought, because Alpha Trion managed to survive by getting buried in debris and going into stasis lock for all these years. Alpha Trion appears at the very beginning of Transformers 1, but in a recorded message, he explains the creation of the planet Cybertron from the sacrificed body of Primus. Then the film proceeds to portray Orion Pax and D-16 as absolute troublemakers. As punishment, they were banished into the dungeons of sub-level 50, where they met B-127, our future Bumblebee. While working in waste disposal, B had unwittingly retrieved the recording of an old SOS message from Alpha Trion from the war with the Quintessons. In the beacon, Alpha Trion had revealed the location of the Lost Matrix of Leadership 50 cycles ago, prompting Orion and D to track it down in the present timeline. Line. The coordinates led Orion, D, Alita, and B to the secret cave, where the ambush took place, and the four cogless bots chanced upon the bodies of the fallen Elder Primes inside. However, Orion spotted that Alpha Trion's spark was still alive, and subsequently B placed an Energon cube into the fallen Prime's mouth, reviving this ancient Prime. At first, Alpha Trion turned violent, believing he was still fighting in the battle, but once he got a sense of his surroundings, he made some explosive revelations about Sentinel calling him a false prime. Alpha Trion explained how Sentinel betrayed his own kind, and also revealed that all Transformer robots are born with the transformation cogs, but Sentinel selectively stole them away from certain robots before they were activated, to create a class of non-transformative low-level working bots such as Orion and his friends. This Elder Prime then granted the four bots the transformation cogs of his fallen comrades, Micronus, Primer, Onyx, and Alchemist. Take their cogs and access your full potential, said Alpha Trion, turning Orion and his friends into powerful Transformers Transformers with super cool powers. By this time, Sentinels and forces infiltrated the hidden cave when Alpha Trion instructed Orion to leave the battle to him. He provided footage of Sentinel's betrayal to Orion and encouraged him to reveal the truth about Sentinel to the Cybertronians. He then prepared to fight Sentinel's death trackers, who mocked him as old and frail. Here comes a fantastic moment in the film, when Alpha Trion transforms into his beast mode and turns into a fearsome leonine creature with a unicorn-like horn. Reminding the death trackers how great of a warrior he is, Alpha Trion takes the army down but gets captured by Arachnid, Sentinel's second-in-command in a surprise attack. Alpha Trion is brought before Sentinel in his tower, where the Elder Prime calls out Sentinel for his treachery. The False Prime grew impatient with Sentinel's speeches and brutally impaled Alpha Trion with his blade. Later in the storyline, a vision of Alpha Trion appears alongside his fellow Elder Primes, when Orion Pax sacrifices himself to save Sentinel from getting killed by D-16, aka Megatron. Gravely injured, as Orion plummets through Cybertron's core, the vision of Alpha Trion reveals that Orion has been chosen as the worthy guardian of the Matrix of Leadership by Primus. Imbued with the power of the Matrix, Orion is then reborn as Optimus Prime. Thus, Alpha Trion plays quite a few significant roles in the movie. Firstly, he grants Orion Pax, D-16, Alita-1, and B-127 transformative powers. Secondly, he reveals the truth behind Sentinel Prime. And thirdly, he hands the Matrix of Leadership to Orion, transforming this once cogless bot into Optimus Prime. Well, the exciting thing about Alpha Trion narrating the history of Cybertron and providing footage of Sentinel's betrayal is that, in other media, Alpha Trion has appeared as Cybertron's record keeper. Also, the fact that Alpha Trion serves as an inspiring figure to Orion Pax in the movie is an homage to the character's cartoon roots, where Alpha Trion was the creator and mentor of Optimus Prime. Alpha Trion's incredible beast mode transformation and anatomy explored. Now, let's talk about Alpha Trion's alternate forms. When this character was first introduced in the Generation 1 cartoon, there was no toy version of Alpha Trion, and in the series, he never really transformed into an alternate form other than simply merging with Vector Sigma. Later, Alpha Trion's toy model was conceptualized as a revised version of the character Snarl from the animated Beast Machines Transformers series. Snarl was a Maximal, a species of Transformers that change into techno-organic beasts. Snarl's beast mode was a lion. This means Alpha Trion was initially thought to be a techno-organic lion beast. Somehow, that didn't materialize. The toy line, inspired by Transformers Cybertron anime, later reimagined Alpha Trion's alternate form as a Cybertronian spaceship, and this spaceship form featured in a number of future productions. This form was further upgraded in the toy line based on the Titans Return series, when Alpha Trion could alter between a robot, a spaceship, and a lion. Alpha Trion also transformed into a fierce lion mode in Transformers The Wreckers comics, but extremely briefly. When the trailer of Transformers 1 was released earlier this year, a Leonine beast featured 
featured in it in a blink and miss appearance, sending fans into a frenzy. This techno organic entity seemed to be the beast form of Alpha Trion, as was revealed by the release of the Transformers 1 toy line. This theory checked out at that time because when we first saw Alpha Trion in the trailer, he was visibly injured, covered in moss from years of hibernation within the cave. Later, when the Leonine Beast appears in the trailer, it has the same mossy green and rusty colored hues of the cave dwelling Alpha Trion. And with Transformers 1 arriving on the big screens, the theories were confirmed as Alpha Trion indeed transformed into a majestic, threatening lion form while fighting the Death Trackers sent by Sentinel Prime. After reviving from his stasis, Alpha Trion towered over Orion Pax and D16 as a gigantic figure. Thus, as an ancient Prime, he's considerably bigger than the regular Transformers of Cybertron. Alpha Trion appears mossy and rusty, with a few broken parts here and there, but he still retains the ancient sage-like aura with the way the parts on his face are structured. In his robot form, Alpha Trion sports a pair of horns, just like his Generation 1 depiction. He's got glowing blue eyes, in sync with his purple and grey armour. In the past versions, Alpha Trion has typically been portrayed as an aged Prime by giving him a bearded look, which is retained in the movie by how his face is shaped. His grey beard from the Generation 1 cartoon is basically replaced with metal blades that give a similar bearded appearance. And interestingly enough, this Alpha Trion gets a cape, which he retains even when he transforms into his lion form. The toy version also assigns Alpha Trion an Energon dagger and an Energon tail and horn when he transforms into a Cybertronian lion. It's quite a goosebump-inducing moment when Alpha Trion is mocked by the Death Trackers and he decides to transform into his beast mode. While transforming mid-air, Alpha Trion's mechanical parts reshape him into a lion beast with a unicorn-like horn at the center of his head and a whip-like tail, both of which glow bright neon purple. His mouth is lined with a series of sharp teeth, which bites into one of the Death Trackers and tears it apart. Alpha Trion's horn and tail sizzle with wild Energon energy as he fights off the baddies, and so does the spiky appendages across his techno-organic body. In his lion mode, Alpha Trion gets clawed limbs that are used to stomp on the enemies and tear into their bodies. Alpha Trion's transformation was short-lived in the movie, as Arachnid captured him in a surprise attack. Even then, it was a dream come true moment for Transformers fans to witness this ancient Prime change into a Cybertronian lion. The presence of a head horn in Alpha Trion's beast mode has led many fans to describe it as a Lionicron, a mix of a lion and a unicorn. Alpha Trion's mind-blowing powers and abilities explored. In Transformers 1, we see that even after remaining powered down for 50 cycles, Alpha Trion revives himself into the once formidable warrior he was. Alpha Trion has the power to retrieve the power cogs of his fallen mates and grant Orion Pax and his friends the ability to transform. Alpha Trion is also strong enough to fight off hordes of the Death Trackers single-handedly by transforming into his beast mode. His lion form proved to be immune to the red laser beams fired by the Death Trackers as the beams bounced off Alpha Trion's leonine body. Even his bite was destructive enough to rip apart Sentinel's enforcers. Alpha Trion is portrayed as a fierce ancient warrior in this movie, who joined the battlefield when the Quintessons attacked Cybertron 50 cycles ago. During the fight, when Alpha Trion realized he was under attack, he entrusted Zeta Prime with the Matrix of Leadership, hoping to safeguard the artifact. But across iterations, Alpha Trion's strongest weapon has been his infinite knowledge. He's been the keeper of Cybertronian secrets, and also served as a scientific genius. Alpha Trion led Cybertron into its golden age by acting as a great advisor to the leaders. During the Great Battle, Alpha Trion declared his allegiance to the Autobots, but stayed away from the battlefield. Instead, he used his scientific knowledge to modify the Autobots into warrior transformers. During Generation 1, Alpha Trion created the combat-ready aerial bots by modifying ancient Cybertronian shuttles. These aerial bots were crucial in the fight against Megatron's car troops, comprising the Stunticons. Alpha Trion's spark was also powerful enough to reactivate Vector Sigma and bring the aerial bots to life, although that destroyed Alpha Trion's physical form. We also need to talk about Alpha Trion's connection to the Matrix of leadership here, which gives him intense cosmic knowledge and the wisdom to guide Cybertron. Across versions, Alpha Trion has safeguarded the Matrix and passed it on to a worthy successor, never really wielding it himself. Alpha Trion is also a great leader, firstly because, as a young bot, he led the uprising against the Quintessons and guided the Cybertronians into victory. Secondly, because he created Optimus Prime from an injured Autobot form and gave him the Matrix of leadership, which he's been safeguarding for eons. Is Alpha Trion more powerful than Optimus Prime and Megatron? In the more recent Transformer continuities, Alpha Trion is a member of the 13 Elder Primes. Created by Primus himself, these Primes are multiversal beings with unimaginable cosmic power. In that sense, as a Prime, Alpha Trion is tremendously powerful. But across Transformers lore, owing to his sage-like personality, Alpha Trion is known for utilizing his powers in the search for knowledge rather than on the battlefield. In Transformers 1, Alpha Trion came into existence long before Orion Pax and D16. And in fact, he's the 
want to grant Orion and D their transformative abilities. Orion later becomes Optimus Prime with the Matrix of Leadership, and D becomes Megatron with Megatron as Prime's core. Thus, as an ancient Prime, Alpha Trion is more powerful than both Optimus and Megatron. Still, in a fight, he'd probably lose to these two, because in the movie, he's easily overpowered by Arachnid and then by Sentinel, probably because of his age and dying spark. How strong is Alpha Trion compared to the other Elder Primes? In some versions, Alpha Trion is depicted as the weakest of the 13 Primes in terms of strength and fighting skills. In such cases, he serves the Primes as their scribe, recording the past, present, and future of the planet with a powerful artifact known as the Quill. Alpha Trion is essentially the guardian of Cybertronian history, the keeper of the Matrix of Leadership, and the mentor of several Primes. As a member of the 13 Elder Primes, Alpha Trion's strongest suit is his knowledge. From Transformers lore, we know that other Primes are known for individual abilities. For example, Megatronus Prime can wield destructive power, and Vector Prime can manipulate time, and Quintus Prime can create life, and Alchemist Prime can manipulate matter. But Alpha Trion's strength lies in his wisdom more than raw power or brute force. In that sense, Alpha Trion may have more cosmic understanding, but lacks the destructive powers of his peers. However, we'd like to reiterate here that the revamped version of Alpha Trion in Transformers 1 is a fierce warrior. However, he is defeated thrice in the movie, first by the Quintus on troops and Sentinel's attacks during the war that took place 50 cycles ago. Second, when Arachnid captured him inside the secret cave. And third, when Sentinel impaled him inside the tower, finishing him off once and for all. Can Alpha Trion reproduce? Well, Alpha Trion is a key figure in creating or rebuilding Transformers in the overall lore. He forged Orion Pax into Optimus Prime through a complicated technological process and re-engineering. As a Cybertronian, Alpha Trion can't procreate in the traditional sense as organic beings do, because um, Transformers are robotic lifeforms and don't have the conventional reproductive methods. Hmm. In Transformers lore, Cybertronians are typically created by the deity-like being Primus, or by the supercomputer Vector Sigma, or even by the Quintessons depending on the continuity, and there's no mention of any specific reproduction process for Alpha Trion. Alpha Trion's longevity explained. Is he immortal? Alpha Trion is one of the oldest Transformers who's existed for millions of years, presumably owing to his connection with the Matrix of Leadership. As an ancient prime, Alpha Trion predates the formation of the Autobots and the Decepticons, as we see in Transformers 1. The movie reveals that he fought against the Quintessons for thousands of years before the fateful final clash 50 cycles ago. Alpha Trion can't be considered immortal, as he's butchered by Sentinel by the end of the movie. However, Alpha Trion reappears in spirit form along with the other Elder Primes and Primus, just like he communicated with Optimus Prime as a spirit in the Generation 1 continuity. Marvelous verdict. To sum it up, Transformers 1 really did reintroduce us to an enigmatic robot that transforms into a techno-organic lion, and we're here for it. So folks, that's all the Alpha Trion trivia we have for you today. Is Alpha Trion your favourite one of all the 13 Primes? Tell us what you think of this ancient Transformer in the comment section below, because Alpha Trion is truly more than what meets the eye. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.